Sean Diddy Combs accused of sexually abusing nine-year-old boy as 120 people allege abuse. Sean Diddy Combs was separately charged in September with racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking, and transportation to engage in prostitution. A nine-year-old boy is among 120 people who are accusing Sean Diddy Combs of sexual assault and abuse in impending lawsuits, a lawyer for the accuser says. Houston-based attorney Tony Busby held a press conference Tuesday, October 1st, alleging Combs sexually abused multiple minors. Busby alleged one nine-year-old boy was sexually abused after he auditioned at the Bad Boy Records studio in New York City. Other boys were there to audition as well, Busby alleged. All of them were trying to land a record deal. All of them were minors. This individual, the nine-year-old, was sexually abused allegedly by Sean Combs and several other people at the studio in the promise to both his parents and to him himself of getting a record deal. On Tuesday, Busby said his law firm, along with the AVA Law Group, were retained by at least 120 individuals to file civil claims against Combs. Twenty-five of the alleged victims are minors, Busby said. According to NBC News, Busby plans to file the lawsuits in the various states in the next 30 days. The alleged victims, Busby said, were evenly divided between males and females. Busby said more than 55% of the alleged victims filed reports to either the authorities or to hospitals. The alleged victims claimed they were abused at Diddy's parties including ones that celebrated album releases and New Year's Eve, as well as all-white parties, puppy parties, and sometimes at auditions, which allegedly occurred in Los Angeles, Miami, Manhattan and the Hamptons, between 1991 and 2024. Busby claimed many of the alleged victims were drug-tested after the incident and the drug, xylazine, a horse tranquilizer known as Trank, was found in their systems. Combs' attorney, Erica Wolf, wrote in a statement to People, As Mr. Combs' legal team has emphasized, he cannot address every meritless allegation in what has become a reckless media circus. That said, Mr. Combs emphatically and categorically denies as false and defamatory any claim that he sexually abused anyone, including minors. He looks forward to proving his innocence and vindicating himself in court, where the truth will be established based on evidence, not speculation. The abuse claims come after Combs, 54, was charged in September with federal racketeering conspiracy, sex trafficking and transportation to engage in prostitution. Federal authorities allege that Combs abused, threatened, and coerced women and others and led a racketeering conspiracy that engaged in sex trafficking, forced labor, kidnapping, arson, bribery, and obstruction of justice, among other crimes. According to a U.S. Attorney's Office, Southern District of New York press release, he pleaded not guilty, but has been denied bail twice.